All right, so you never feel with your thumb, okay? Sideways palpate. You have a good one in the middle? Or are you only good one is that giant basilic? That giant one right there. <laughs> I'm touching with bear. You got a skinny one there. What about on the side? You got a straight shot or is it only the basilic? Yeah. I don't course. feel any of that. So. <laughs> of course you have a basilic. Okay. So have them make the fist. He's going to need to turn his arm just a little bit. And then you're going to feel it right there. Okay. But what's funky about it? Release the turn. Uh, unique about that one. Fine. Yeah, so that's your last choice. But they usually do with I and sorry, that's distracting. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, make sure you keep yourself on mute until it's uh yeah. if you got in background because I don't want to distract these guys. All right, so this is a basilic vein. So this is obviously our last choice. Now it is a beautiful vein, just not the best spot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have him move his arm here. So you're gonna want to, to go like this, right? Because okay. you wanna draw with the, the direction of the vein. So you're gonna have him, when it comes time, he's gonna keep his arm up, the fist tight while you do it. And when you anchor, you're gonna wanna anchor like this. And we're going to have you draw here, not up here, because this is going to be less likely close to that nerve. Okay. So that's where this one is a little more workable because it kind of goes over a little further into mm -hmm. the medial space. So you're good. Okay. So now what's the next step? Um, clean the site. Yep. Concentric circles. And while you're doing that, I'm going to tell you your test that you have. Wow, this is like... A lot came out of there. Yeah. Um, you are going to draw a CDC and a glucose. So I need. Um, so while it's drying, you're going to assemble your equipment. The tube adapters are in the drawer, right in that drawer. Okay. Okay, needles are up there. I'm trying to remember which is CBC. And That's okay. Take a while. Oh. Yes. Oh. How'd it go? <laughs> my son's get, my son gets these drawn all the time, and I still can't remember. What is a CBC? You hot seat doesn't get to answer. Okay. <laughs> complete blood count. Okay, so complete blood count. So do we need whole blood, plasma, or serum? Whole blood. So which two do we draw for whole blood? Um, red. Mm -hmm. How do we get whole blood? What needs to be in the tube? Um, an additive. Uh-huh. OK. So which one of the additive tubes is the one that has whole blood that we need? Because there's only one of those that we use with whole blood. Okay. The others give us serum. I mean, plasma, excuse me. <laughs> and you would be correct. Okay. <laughs> I'm like I know, the first one is tough. The first one's tough. I'm literally sweating. <laughs> All right, what about the other two? Glucose. Glucose. Um... All right, gold. Gold. Okay. okay. All right, so I am going to recommend in the future you got to pull your hair back. Okay, I can do that now and change my gloves. Okay, because that's right. gonna that's gonna be a problem for you. Okay. <laughs> We're doing something new because we can't see the other students, so they're live on uh, Zoom right now. Which students? Any student. So I have. <laughs> Uh, looks like I got one Dawn from the spring, and then it looks like the rest are from the CLS that we do 101 one. that I'm not allowed to have in person, unfortunately. Boo. Dawn. Dawn. Did I say it like that? That's hilarious. I say it just like she does. All right. It sounds like Cheryl might have one more victim over there. 
coming in. I heard the door. Oh, here's the door. Fake out. Nobody here. I'm nervous. Don't be. <laughs> You'll be fine. And not to mention, I'm standing right next to you. Okay. Standing over like that just made me wicked dizzy. <laughs> Woo! My ears are so full. All right, you ready, Freddie? I am. Okay. So now you have to finish assembling your equipment. And it's warm in here, so everybody's going to bleed really nicely today. <laughs> so grip in the middle, take the clear off, and that's what's going to go into your tube. You can throw that plastic away and make sure it's nice and tight. Okay, so then you can just place that down. All right, you want to get a little bit of gauze out as well. Are you ready, your lefty? I'm ready. Okay, you're under the righties. Okay, so you can put the, the gloves right here. All right, and then you're going to want to move tubes and get everything over so you can actually reach it. So it'll probably have to go over there. So what I always recommend is have the gauze for what you need after you're done with the draw and then gauze to rest on. Okay, so now you want to put the tourniquet back on. Now, in the, in the real world, obviously, when you get good at this, this step, nobody does. Like, we have everything ready to go. We put the tourniquet on. We clean it. We let it dry. We draw. We're done within a minute. Okay. Can't touch it again. Okay. Okay. So now you have him make his fist. You're going to grab the needle. And you're going to hold it the right way, uh, a little further into the middle. Okay. Nice that. Okay. Pull the safety device back just so you can see it. Now take the needle off. Now you want to check the bevel, make sure there's nothing on the bevel. All right, so now we're going to get ready to draw. So we're going to have him move his arm just a little bit. Thanks, sorry. Yeah, and my, straight, nice and straight. <laughs> okay, and so now always, um, hold, you're going to anchor and you're going to go in the direction that you see kind of a little, almost looks like a little scab there. Yeah. You're going to go right there. You don't have to go too far in just so the needle's in and I'll tell you when to stop. Go right in and stop. And you're gonna rest your hand right there. Just let go here. Okay, so grab your first tube that needs to go in. Which one goes first? The not uh, that one. No. And okay. I'll explain when you're done with the okay. draw after. Okay, remember use your phalanges. So pull and push like this. Pull and push. Yep, good. Good, good. Okay. So now you got that, so you've established blood flow. So you can release your tourniquet, but keep an eye on the needle. This is where people pull it out. Good, okay. So now you can take the tube out. And actually, we're only gonna have you draw one today because I forgot that's what we do on day one. Here I am, <laughs> overzealous. So you're gonna take the gauze. Don't push down till the mm -hmm. needle is out. Take the needle, like put it right over there. Don't push down till the needle's out. Take the needle out and engage the safety device right away. Not with your finger. Oh, okay. On the side. Yeah, you want to do it on your side because you want to right. keep it in. Okay. Okay, so the one thing we just, uh, you want to mix your tube. Good. Okay, so you, you make sure that he's holding pressure, yep. which he is, okay? So now you can discard, whoops. Right over here. Sharps. Can, no, that's not sharps. Joe, you want to grab a sharps container? So usually we'll have one in the back, but we have okay. it in the, in the main lab. So. This is where um, you're going to throw the, the safety device away if it's near, but a lot of the times, you know, they're, they're by like, they're by the bathrooms. Mm -hmm. They're always in the middle of the bathrooms, which makes no sense. So you still have to hold that because you're still bleeding. Uh, those, that's one of the service learning projects. All right, so now you can put the needle down just now. Um, so on the tube, there are three things that you have to identify the patient with and three that you have to put on it. Remember I said those six things total? <clears throat> so I'm going to, I'm going to tally them off as you say them out loud. Um, the patient's name. Yeah. Date of birth. Yeah. Uh, the type of test. Nope. Don't care. Okay. <laughs> um, so you said name, date of birth. And the uh, medical ID number. Medical record number. Okay. That's the three patient identifiers. Mine's is my initials, yep. the time, and the date. Woo! Okay, now, what department does that go to? 
Collaboration. No, what, what test did you draw for that? Uh, glucose. Okay, where does glucose go? What is glucose? Glucose is sugar in the blood. Okay, um, what department tests sugar in the blood? Hematology. No. Hematology is the study of, I know you're under pressure right now. <laughs> Get used to this, this is what we do. This is how you learn it. Hematology would be, um, the CBC. Yes. Okay. So that's what the study of cells. So CBC, yes. The serology. Uh, I'm just guessing now. No. Nope. So remember when I, we went through the, the, the departments, right? Yes. If it's a cell, okay, it's going to get go to hematology. If it's a factor that's involved in coagulation or clotting, it's going to go out of coag go to coagulation. If it is an antibody or infectious disease, it's most likely going to go to immunology, serology. If it is found floating in the liquid portion of the blood, it's probably going to chemistry. Okay. So if it's hormones, electrolytes, glucose, all of these types of things, cholesterol, uric acid, drug levels, those are going to chemistry. Okay. So you were close. Yeah. Well, good job for the first time. <laughs> all right. So uh, blood can go in the sharps with the needle and you can take your gloves off wash your hands and you get to go in the hot seat do you want to have a baby what's that do you want to not oh yeah sorry you want to not band-aid or no, i'm fine okay so what would you do for the band-aid you remember um fold over the can we put a piece of tape on you yeah. since you are bleeding okay so why don't you uh tape. just one piece, just one piece of tape and again, we're going to throw away the tourniquets right now since uh, it's COVID. <laughs> and this is still done with gloves on, right? Yes, ma'am. You don't want to touch blood with no gloves. No glove. Yeah, guys. Ooh, we're going to have to get that refilled. Okay, so then you thank the patient. Thank you so much. And then shake it out. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> All right, so then you get to get your... Oh, it's so too many things to remember. Right now. Be right back. All right, so everybody, I forgot to do this. You don't have to wear a drawer. Oh, you don't have to wear a drawer. In a hot seat. Oh, okay. So once you get drawn, this is going to be, you have to put this on while you're getting drawn. Okay. I forgot to do that first. And then put your name on it. <laughs> so then you put your name on it, and this becomes yours. Okay. It is yours. All right, Cheryl, you want to take over um, that and then I'll narrate for the rest of the crew. So we get somebody else. All right, we're switching out. We're going to do one more draw, but I need a drink. <laughs> Seriously, that's the one thing. I've been teaching all day. I'm out of breath and I, I can't seem to catch my breath now because teaching behind the mask. I'm like, <laughs> slow down. I can't slow down. That's why I want to make anybody wear it that's wrong. Um, oh, yeah, good idea. <laughs> You're all fogged up already. Yeah, I feel like I'm in a cloud of smoke or something. <laughs> no, how about They're all open. Uh, it wasn't too bad. So I'm, bad. Having, I'm, I'm literally having a hard time with um, order of draw, the additives. And really? All, yeah, it's <laughs> <laughs> like I'm having a real and that's, time. That's totally normal. You don't get it until you practice it over and over again. Yeah. It's literally just memory. You don't have gum in, do you? Yes. <gasps> get, get. <laughs> that's the problem with masks. I can't tell when people have gum in their mouths. That, oh, that actually, that would have been on you because you're supposed to make sure that there's nothing in people's mouths. I didn't think about that. That's a new thing to think about because now with all of our draws, you, um, you're you supposed to be checking people's mouths, but if they're not chewing at the time, although how do you chew gum? Like I tried it once behind my mask and it like actually made my eyes water because of the peppermint. I don't know. <laughs> but that's something to think about. You may want to like, as you get out there and do your clinicals, you may want to ask people, do you have gum in your mouth? You never know, because yeah. I missed it. Okay, just lock and load. Just up. I know, like, I'm really bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
down. Yeah, lock and load. Does he have tests yet? I didn't give him tests yet, but you can pick off of that. Nice. <laughs> I don't know. He's got he works he works in an ER already. I feel like we need to step up the challenge yeah. for this one. And he's military. Right? You are in the medics, yeah. right? Yeah. See? So trifecta, you gotta give him a hard one. T S H. Ooh. And one more, just for giggles, but we'll only draw one two today. Um I see that today on the book. I think. We'll let you we'll that's okay. said right. <laughs> what? I'll said right. Or ESR. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. What was the first one? TSH. He's like, I don't know. <laughs> TSH. Is that a drug? This is all because you nope. work in the field. <laughs> <laughs> Let's Do you want to know what TSH stands yes. for? Yeah. Thyroid stimulating hormone. Okay. That might change your mind. Yeah. So I'm going to go with lavender. For? For the TSH. <laughs> no? Are you te you're testing the thyroid okay. level? Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you the same questions I did her. Mm -hmm. Is it a cell? No. So does it go to hematology? No. Okay. Is it an infectious disease or an antibody? No. Is it... A clotting factor. Thyroid, yes. No. No. So, what does that leave it? Hot <laughs> seat doesn't get to answer. So you it's so it's something in the blood because it, yep. So it's gonna so it's gonna be a yellow. Not a yellow. Okay. Gold. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. Sorry, yellow is a very yeah, different yeah. tube, and a lot of people do that. I wish they made it more gold. Yeah. Okay. And ESR, erythrocyte sedimentation rate. So I'm going to say it's something with clotting, correct? Nope. No. Quiet. <laughs> it's so much easier when you're in that. It time. is a lot easier when you're sitting in that. <laughs> That's good. Because <laughs> the pressure is not on me. Exactly. So. <laughs> Can erythrocyte. It is a test to oh, test said, how long the red the blood cells, cells right. literally settle. So you're testing something in the cells. cells. Yes. So what two do you choose? Um, the lavender. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> okay. I don't know why I blanked it because you hear it. It's because you're on the hot seat. <laughs> <side. laughs> it's the hot seat. Yeah. I mean, I believe because I'm having such a hard time with it. Everybody does. It's the last thing. And if you guys up. have questions, you can unmute yourself and ask a question because we can hear you. So don't feel like you can't ask questions. This seems like such the opposite of remote learning for kids where it's like, mute yourself. I know. <laughs> Somebody turn it on. <laughs> Although that does get real up and close and personal to my face, which is crazy. OK. Oh, so, in here. Yeah. Look at this. All right. Okay. All right. So, hello. My name is Antoine. I'm a student at BCC. Do you mind if I draw your blood? No. Okay. Um, can I have your name and date of birth? Veronica Rodriguez, 10 18 19 82. And are you allergic to latex? No. Okay. Let's see. Same here. Yeah. 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 All right. So, can I see, see your arm? Right. I'm going to sneak behind you because mm -hmm. I got to go to the bathroom. I'm sure we'll look. So, do I help you first and then the tourniquet? Never. I don't because no. that's what it's for. Yeah. So, just use the tool like as what it's meant for. You can once you figure out what side you like drawing better mm -hmm. like with your equipment and stuff, right. then you can look at that arm first. That's or right. most likely, someone's going to sit down and say, This is my better yeah. arm, you know. So, when the tourniquet is too tight, it causes hemoconcentration. concentration. Is that no hemolysis? Okay, but um, it's only like when you release it. 
Okay. You make a fist. You might want to hold the glove over your finger more so you don't have the lines of it, you know what I mean? Yeah. That will help. And so here's two things. Mm -hmm. If her arm's straight yep. and you feel like a little bit of something, just put a like a slight crook slight, to it okay. and see if you feel it any better. And and just the opposite. If it has a slight crook to it, then you can try straighten it. Okay. But feel that now. Yeah. That's beautiful, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah, I feel it now. I was trying now. I and that's like... why you, you want to feel them and not see them. Right. You know, because it's nice. But you need some kind of landmark so that you're going to remember mm -hmm. where it is. So that's what you're going to do right now is kind of figure out where it is, which has like a little squiggly here. Mm -hmm. So figure out where it is In compared to, to that. that. Yeah, yeah, that's what I would do. Sometimes so. you'll see little white dots, like little tiny scars from previous draws. Mm -hmm. um, and you can base them on those. You don't know if the person mm -hmm. missed or not, like if they actually got it, but you can use those as landmarks, you know. Okay. So right now you want to release your tourniquet to clean it. I'm glad you chose this time, though, because I just got blood yeah. from this. So. <laughs> I had my labs done last week, and they called me to go back and to get redrawn. Oh, no, yeah. did they miss a tube? Or, I'm not, uh, I didn't even ask them, because okay. I was in such a rush to come over here, so I didn't even ask why. Oh, but I was watching the girl, and she did what was taught not to, and she wiped with the alcohol. And then the swabs it with the gauze, yes. yeah. You see all kinds of bad habits. What can I help you find? The, oh, there's the bubble. Oh, okay. Didn't even look like a drawer. I know. John, are you here? Yes, he is. Okay. Sorry, John. I just got your message. <laughs> see, I, I voluntold people to be co-hosts. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Hey guys, if you haven't met her, this is Cheryl. Squeaky. Go vote. No. <laughs> <laughs> so say hi to Cheryl. Cheryl's a lab assistant here hi. at Bristol. Hey, Dawn. <laughs> and then, John, you already met Charlene Harrison in person. <laughs> All right. So while it's drying, should I completely remove it or is it fine like it's that? Fine like that. Okay. Are you a righty or a left? I'm a righty. So. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I keep forgetting who's the left because I know we have two in this class. No. We're right. only we're only right. two other oh, people. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you don't want to cross your arms. Actually, I like this probably. Mm -hmm. That's good. It's funny, I do this all the time and, and I'm nervous so now. <laughs> stay tuned, people, because after this and they complete and the other two get here, we're going to do capillary puncture. So Cheryl's going to donate, donate. No, no, I'm the donator. Cheryl's going to demonstrate while I narrate on my finger because I bleed like a thick pig and I'm super, super hot right now. So you're going to get to see a great capillary puncture. And hopefully you don't get it all over my computer. I haven't quite figured out how we're going to do that, but at least it's my own blood. I'm always cold. Oh, oh, those fingers. You are not uh, putting in an IV. He <laughs> <laughs> puts the needle in just like he's putting an IV. I know. Up. We can change his hands, but I can't change his. So. Yeah. No. Yeah, you're in a little far. Too far. Yeah, and your angle mm -hmm. for a blood draw very very shallow okay so that's okay you can just pretend that you have blood flow okay. so release your tourniquet well as long as it doesn't hurt her no. you know if she says it hurts we obviously have to end the draw right away but then you're going to take your tube out and you're going to rock it just like you normally would and then you can practice changing the tube again okay just since so she it looks to me like she has thinner veins no, she's got a good one. Okay, so now, no, 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 no. no, no. Yeah. Grab your gauze. Don't push down to the needles out, and close the safety device on the suit. 
Okay, so I'm going to show you. Mm -hmm. So this is where, because you put IVs in, mm -hmm. you're at a disadvantage because you've been drawing blood the way you put in an IV. Right. And so when you're going in, you went in at like a 40 40 40. 40. Yeah. So you were like this. Yeah. You need to be like this okay. because what happens is when you go into a nice vein like that, the bevel is going to sit like so. Say this is the the wall of the vein. The bevel is going to sit and it's going to be covered by that wall of the vein. So that's why we need this because picture picture this is the bevel. Mm -hmm. It needs to be open and unobstructed. So the only way you can do that is having the needle up at that angle. Okay. So shallow so is. I don't think that an IV doesn't have a bevel on it. It's just right it's here. got a it's got a, a slight, slight one, but it's not the purpose of it because then you're inserting that cannula in. Okay. So while she's sitting there, you have three and three that you have to okay. So you have three things that are her identifiers and three things that you have to put on the tube. So her name, date of birth, and her MRN. Yeah. My initials, time and date. Okay, perfect. This is a good needle. We won't waste that. Throw that away, though. All right, so you can band-aid her up. So did you use the right order of draw? No. OK, as long as you know. <laughs> as long as yeah. you know that. I, I realized once I. Once you put it in? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I wasn't going to stop you since we already stopped your needle holding. <laughs> All right, so um, and don't forget, so for these steps for you guys on the other end, make sure that you're checking for the bleeding to stop and checking for mounding underneath, because that would be a sign that a hematoma is forming. Okay, so deliver them to the right departments. What test goes where again? So your lavender is going to go to, no, I was going to say chemistry, but no. Your gold is going to go to chemistry. Correct. And your lavender is going to go to hematology. All right. All right. Those can get thrown away. All right. So, oh, this isn't even plugged in. All right. You guys are coming on a walk with me. So, Christmas and chemistry start with you. I don't know where else I'm going to start. All right. You're going to go like here. Okay. Right back. Where's my battery? Ooh. I didn't think this had a speaker on it for me to, or a video for me to actually be able to do it. And it's like tied to the thing, so I knew I'm going to be able to use the school computer. All right. This is a plug that I always play with. Okay. So. I know. All right. You're so cute. Cheryl, how's the baby? He's great. If I if I knew I was gonna have one that good, I wouldn't have waited so long. <laughs> That's what happened to me. The youngest one was the easiest. <laughs> he is so easy. He sleeps all the time. How old is the baby? It'll be four months tomorrow. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, it's gonna need to disappear, but my mom sent me a message. Can I give Matt cough medicine? God no. These kids can't have cough medicine. He is not feeling well today. Okay. Um, uh, like no, oh. no, he's sick. Okay. So it's super fun. All right. So we're going to do while we're waiting for the other crew um, to come in. And I am recording this. So if you want to watch like some of the steps and stuff later, you can. Um, but I thought it would be fun to kind of play the game um, over on this side together. So I don't know if you want to mentally do it in your head while he holds up which one he's trying to assign. So if you just flash it to the camera. Okay. Can you read that or is it backwards? That says, <laughs> is it backwards? Hematocrit? 
All right, so I'll just read them out loud then. Never mind, they're really tiny. Um, so that's, no, you can take it off, but that's yours now. So you leave it on your counter space. All right, so pick a department. Don't yell, don't belt it out loud though, okay? Um, so pick a department where it goes. So you can do this too. Hematocrit, Veronica, so. If you want to pick, use your card to, you can use your card to hold it up. Like, so what department? So hematocrit, what department does it go to? And once she chooses, then we'll go. Okay, what is, all right, so what is a hematocrit? Anybody know? And you guys online can answer too. Since there's only two students here so far, it, it makes a full class. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Anybody know what hematocrit is? In the red blood cells? So it's not in the red blood the cells. The red blood. So technically it is the amount of red blood cells. Blood cells. So an average one is gonna be around 40, 45 for hematocrit percent. Okay, so what department does that go to? Do you want me to say that? Hematology. Mm -hmm. yeah. One, you, you, <laughs> triglycerides, triglycerides. So it's a... Triglycerides. So those of you at home, if you want to write it down, if you don't have a card, um, you can practice it. Seriously, they like micro stuff in this group. All right. So, what is a triglyceride? The sugar in the fat. F fat. We do not want a lot of that in our blood because then we can actually cause blockages and plaque buildup and myocardial infarction. So, what department does that go to? Chemistry. Chemistry. All right. Fasting glucose. What department does that go? Fasting glucose. Hmm. Fasting glucose. All right. People online, you got it? Mm. I forgot this one. You forgot this one? What? I did. A Listen. Fasting glucose? Yeah. My brain is so full. <laughs> Guys, Veronica just did this one for you and messed it up. <laughs> you can't see me smiling. She got it this time, though. Okay, so fasting blood glucose. What is glucose? Oh, she's got it now. <laughs> A glucose is your sugar level, okay? So the fasting one, whether it's fasting or regular, goes to chemistry. Good job. Okay. Good Lord. I don't know what they were thinking, but I can't give you that one yet. It's not, you're not ready for that one yet. Ooh, this is a good one. Fibrin degradation product or FDP. Antoine, I like your face. <laughs> can you even see my eyes? I don't know if you can. I really can't. <laughs> Just what it's not. Narrow it down, you know? So there is a clue in the name of the test. Fibrin degradation product. Fibrin degradation product. So to help you out, what do we need fibrin for? Coagulation. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Hey, don't laugh. So speaking of BCC students or students being nurses, my, when my son was born, well, actually when my daughter was born, Cheryl's the one that drew her when she needed to be hospitalized. But when my son was born, I said to the, the lady, I said, yeah, no, I'll have BCC students, no problem. So my nurse was a form, I didn't know her, but she was a Bristol student. And the nurse student that took care of my baby was a former phlebotomy student. Aww. So really? I was like, 
super excited that, you know, one of mine took care of mine. <laughs> All right, so what do we need fibrin for? Clot. Clots, okay? So a fibrin degradation product is legitimately the answer to your question because it's the breakdown of fibrin. So if where we, can you tell I've been talking since nine o'clock this morning? Uh, although, you, although those of you listening to my lectures, you know I do this whether I've been talking all day or not, okay? So where do we test for fibrin, fibrinogen, or clotting anything? Coagulation. That was a toughie. That, that's a trick one. That one's tough. Are these the same? No, they're all different. Oh, okay, so should I be looking for? No, no, uh, yeah. you're just going to pick up the, we're, we're doing it all together as a group because this is, this is like the actual drawing and then this is like the hardest part of phlebotomy. <laughs> Although this sometimes is harder than the drawing part. But I did tell you, I did tell you it was easier drawing it off a real arm than it was a training arm, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that easier. A lot easier. And then you all were here. She had to do a basilic on this one. He didn't warn me. Like, I got pipes. Yeah, you didn't tell me it was a basilic vein. All right, this is a good one. And don't ever call it a bun because you'll make me mad. <sighs> Nitrogen, it is not a bun test. It is a B-U-N, B-U-N. I hate the bun. It's not a bun. Can you, can you say that? Blood urea nitrogen level. I am so flipping thirsty right now. It's not even funny. Blood urea nitrogen. Somebody spent a lot of time like drawing out to mm -hmm. making yeah, colors. Made this yeah, I don't remember what class this was, but this was a service learning project that saw a class made. Okay, what do you got? I'm gonna go with. Okay, do you guys got guesses over there online? Yes, yeah, just... Don't ever go with my curl again. <laughs> there's, there's very few tests that we draw for a micro yes okay so blood urea nitrogen is a waste product a lot of products that we analyze we're analyzing in chemistry whatever is in the liquid portion of your blood that's not a cell that's not an antibody and not an infectious disease although immunology just remember immunology or serology in the real world a good chunk of it is part of chemistry because we can automate it now so we put it on chemistry analyzers so be sure that you guys remember that um because that's important all right next one blood group and rh that's fun oh well, look at the under oh. tube am i doing it right I might have it wrong. Right? That's what she's doing and it's working. Yeah. Try to just narrow it down. You know? This is good practice, by the way. If you if you haven't made your own flashcards, make your own flashcards. All right. Okay. Anybody online have a guess? I've seen it, but I, I like blood it. type and it. RH. You're not changing it because no. you know I saw you saw yeah. you see it. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Stick with it. Stick with your honest answer. Yeah. No, that's I just now I know you're not gonna cheat. We don't like cheaters. Cheater cheaters. So you got anybody got a guess over online? I did, but I don't know if I'm right. I don't know. <laughs> All right, serology. Okay, so this is actually, um, you would have heard it as an ABORH. So our blood typing is done in blood bank or in immunohematology. Dawn, the blood bank tests are tough for you. Yeah, always. <laughs> All right, this one should be easy now. Fibrinogen. 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 Fibrinogen, and it's not a drink. <laughs> Fibrinogen. Although you know what, some Halloween I feel like, or Lab Week I feel like I need to come up with a themed cocktail that's Fibrinogen. <laughs> and I can make it. I can make it like. <laughs> yeah, I'm a geek like that. You laugh, but uh, whatever. Okay, so Fibrinogen is what we need to make what. We need fibrinogen to make what? 
Don, you can say it since no one else is. Clots, blood what? clots. So we, uh, yeah, he's like, oh yeah, I knew that. <laughs> it was in the name, yeah, Fibrin, Ogin. I even tried to separate it for you. You guys got it out there. All right, this one's kind of easy. White blood cell count. WBC. Get it. Oh, Hello, come on in. You can go to your seat. We're doing while we're waiting for everybody to get here. We're playing a game. It's easier. It is easier. What am I missing here? Hematology. All right. What did I just give you? What did I give you? I don't remember. White blood. White blood count. Blood cell count. Okay. So where does a white blood cell count go? Huh? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> he was a, did, did you drop an F bomb? I, did, I, did. I am the only one allowed to drop the F bomb in class. Come on. Only me. And I only do it sometimes. Only and only for effect. Hold on. I'm trying to find a. So, yes. Yeah, so, a white blood cell count goes to hematology because it is a cell. Dahlia, where's your seat? It's right oh, it's there. there. Hey, cover your nose. Cover your nose. Um, I've had to remind all three of you for covering your nose that COVID can come out of your nose. Anyway, that's where they test it. Silly gooses. <laughs> um, did you switch out your, your mask? No, not yet. I'm okay. just going to do that right now. All right. And then I need glass. And then you need glass. Okay. <laughs> all right. Next one. Oh, I don't know if I should do this one. This one's kind of hard. And that's not necessarily. Yeah, we're going to skip that. I think that what I just said. Ooh. Is uh, coagulation. Anything with fibrin in it is most likely coagulation. That's a hint. Although there's other tests that are that go to coagulation that don't have fibrin in it, but it has a factors or time. So a prothrombin time or a partial thromboplastin time or a thrombin time. If it's got time on the end of it, most likely it's a timed coagulation test. So, uh, in the cabinet, Dahlia. Okay, this is a hard, all right. So this, this is a hard one. And I'm gonna be surprised if anybody gets this one. Hep B surface antibody. Hep B, so what you have to do is you just have to choose. You can wait and put your gloves on and then you can have these to choose your department. Oh, those are pretty. Wow, they're like turquoise. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. new. Turquoise gloves. Hep B surface antibody. Antibody. I like the turquoise gloves. <laughs> They're fun. It is really something, huh? Right? Yeah. You're styling over there, Dahlia. <laughs> Chemistry. Okay, so you can line them up over there. Mm -hmm. Hep B surface antibody. All right, and Veronica chose hers, right? Yes. Okay, so we'll just give online and Dahlia a chance to Do you want choose. Do different way so you can see it? Or? No, okay. no, Cheryl, Cheryl's checking you us because okay. she nodded. I just want to make sure I, that's what I... Yeah, I know. So have me surface antibody, Dahlia. Choose which department you think it goes to. So Okay, well, that's good. She was the last one to answer. That's fine. So, yes, yeah, so hep B surface antibody. Remember when I told you if it's a cell, if it's anything that's not a cell, an infectious disease, or an antibody, it goes to chemistry. Oh. But those with an antibody goes to serology or immunology. So, so that, correct, yes, you're correct. Yes, you're correct. <laughs> All right. So, next one is erythrocyte sedimentation rate. You want me to say it? Nope, you just you just just kind of put it to the side which one you think it is. I want everybody to have a test just a little while ago. Erythrocyte uh, okay. erythrocyte sedimentation rate. Come on, we would have gotten him on it a second time. <laughs> and we did anyway. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so great. I got him twice. <laughs> well, actually, Cheryl got him the first time. I got him the second time. 
Just giving everybody a chance to finish it. No looking it up. We're not doing this lookups. No, no, I'm not looking up. Okay. I was like, Dahlia, come on. Oh, play the game for real. Oh, no, I'm just writing. <laughs> it's not a game if you're looking up the answers. It's my version of Jeopardy. God rest. Seriously. Oh, I know. We're, like, seriously, what are we going to do without Alex and Jeopardy? <laughs> I didn't know he was that old. He didn't look 80. No. Not at all. All right. So. That's a pretty good life. Thinking. For real. And then Sean Connery was it. Oh, oh, I know. Sean Connery. Connery. Best right. James Bond ever. Dr. Hillow, I have to go. Okay, Don. All right. Thank you. you. One last test. Sure. A and A. So nice to see you, Nice to see you too. Hopefully, I get into clinical when I'm on a break. <laughs> Fingers crossed. What is, what is, uh, what is so um, the last one, your erythrocyte sedimentation rate is in hematology because it's how red cells yeah. settle. Yeah. So then your ANA is an anti-nuclear antibody. Antibodies. I got that. The other one? Anti-nuclear antibody. Oh, oh. sorry. Yeah, I'll just point to it. That will be. Nope, take your card. Don't belt it out yet. That was my idea just for you to know. Okay. okay. Oops, somebody had trouble spelling this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so where does anti nuclear antibody go? Serology. Serology, immunology. All right, Dahlia, just make sure you put your choice aside as to where, yeah, like, flip don't flip that. Uh, I'm, flip yeah, fine. keep them all up, though, too, okay. so, because I'm going to do more. All right. Okay. Eosinophil. Eosinophil. What is that? They had a little trouble. They forgot the O. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I had trouble with that, and it gave me mark. Well, yeah, I yeah. fixed that, though. Oh, good. Eosinophil. So if like you have the answer, just kind of push it to the side. Is that the name? Yes. Yep. Oh, that's another thing. I can't even pronounce. Eosinophil. 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 Us lab geeks call them eos. Yes, we do. I'm waiting for a test scheduling phone call, so I don't want to. Because before they. I know. Before uh, they will even see my son in the office for potential strep throat, um, they have to test him for COVID. And I'm waiting for the test to schedule it because you can't take them to any walk in site because he's little. They send them to the tent at St. Luke's. So I have I called at 8 30 this morning. I still haven't gotten a phone call to schedule yet. And then, I did see that. I walked right by the tent over here. All right. So they just have a sick they have a sick area and the dog. No, I didn't I didn't get Oh um Yeah, no, well, because he has symptoms that sound like COVID. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Oh, poor baby. I got tested today at Bristol just because oh, they? they do the weekly yeah. and they encourage us that are teaching and in person. This guy was up there for a very long time oh, and yeah. he chose the side that I have a deviated septum. Oh, oh. oh. Yes. I'm still like, I still like, I'm like, I can feel it now and like my nose has been running all day. All right, so what did I just give you? Oh yeah, eosinophil. What you got back there? Okay, an eosinophil. Anybody got a guess online there? I mean, Ron, you're the only one with your screen up. So, all right. So, an eosinophil, what does fill at the end mean? Love. So, a, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, an eosinophil is a type of cell. So, we're going to see an increase in these and uh, parasitic infections, sometimes allergies as well. This one's too hard for today. Reticulocyte count. So it's what? It's like a... SSL. SSL. Reticulocyte SSL. count. So what, uh, it's what, like department? 
Right. From those. You have to choose the department from all of them. Any Say any reticulous site count. I lost my headband with the buttons, and this is the straps are hurting my I ears. A, I seen a girl, and she had a headband with that, and I seen oh, someone yeah. else. They help. Yes. They help. I wear the headband over my ears, yeah. So then the buttons here, so because my head's so ginormous. So, uh, so soon as what department? Hematology. You, cho you chose that choice. I chose that. Yeah. I okay. So the next I one. Seen if it was a white one. So yeah. And. Reticulocyte count is the next one. Count is the key word. Count. Or yeah. site. We got it, Antoine. <laughs> if you're counting, you don't want the numbers. If, yeah, if anything is a count, we can't count it if it's in a clot. Gotcha. So we need <laughs> serum, plasma, or whole blood for that. <laughs> Serum plasma or whole blood for that? Whole blood. Whole blood. Yeah. Hello, oh, yes. come on in. All right, we're going to have you go sit on that end just because I stole your seat okay. to have people join us today. So, oh, I got a hematology. Correct, it's hematology, yeah. reticulocyte. So, a reticulocyte is basically a teenager red blood cell. Um, so make sure that you switch out your masks to the paper one provided, and then gloves and your gown back on. We're just, we were just playing a game, so we'll play a, a couple rounds while you're here, and then we're going to demonstrate capillary puncture, and then we'll do um, your draw. So once we do the demo of the capillary puncture, you guys, you two are free to go because we're supposed to minimize contact time. So then next week we'll do another draw and capillary puncture. So hopefully everybody's vaccinations will come in and we'll all be good. Um, it's only the four of you tonight. Um, Alexandra had um, something happen, so she won't be here um, tonight. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. An ammonia. Ammonia, um, ammonia not pneumonia. <laughs> Actually, I, I had someone that worked with me once that kept calling an ammonia a pneumonia test. Oh my God. And I'm like, no, it's an uh, ammonia. Uh, uh, uh. I had a crazy tenant over the summer. She used to spray her breath with ammonia uh -oh. to kill the germs. Oh, no. <laughs> she could have so she, oh kill, so she killed all the grass. <laughs> all the grass that you planted. Cool. Brian, I can only imagine what Brian said or did. Good Lord. She's a lizard. <laughs> <laughs> well, not because of that. But. That it must have crazy. smelled awful. <laughs> ammonia is so stinky. Yeah. All right, and ammonia, did you choose your department? I did. <laughs> okay, don't touch your face with gloves on. Oh, okay. Just forewarn everybody, okay? Uh, and don't touch your hair either with gloves on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Here's the deal. I'm going to call out every single one of you on everything that you do. That that goes for you guys out here too. Okay. And John, because you have Charlene, she's going to do the same thing for you. We are here because you want us to teach you the right way to do it. And so chances are what you just did, somebody else is going to do five seconds later. So we all learn from each other as a group. I am not seeing you do anything that I haven't seen a thousand other students, probably literally over a thousand at this point. So we know, but we will still continually remind you. And someday, 10 years from now, you'll be like, I remember Dr. Hiller saying that. I remember Dr. Hiller saying that. And I'll be like the good conscience on your side. Right over there. I'm not the bad conscience. I'm the good conscience. Okay. Did we pick a department for ammonia? Can you give these, pass them down, take one down. Okay, all right, so ammonia level, what do we got? I got chemistry. <laughs> chemistry, okay, <laughs> bonus round. What color tube does an ammonia level go in? That's a hard question. Gold. Eh, nope. Pearl. Huh? 
Huh? Carl? The no. Weights, no. Like we next to never draw pearl tops. Those are reserved for like HIV, uh, like viral, like oh, testing. Okay. Nope. Again. Wait. I, I, nope. Oh. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Royal blue? No. Nope. Oh. I didn't. I wasn't looking out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hiding. Okay, Ronald, okay. put it down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no. We have students on here too. <laughs> it's a group effort today. So legit, it is a lavender. You got it right. Yeah. That's yeah. That is one of the exceptions. Now, wow. now another bonus. Mm -hmm. We have to do something special with that. <laughs> now you haven't learned that yet, but you will. I, I think in chapter I, eleven, we have yeah, to do I, something I, special I on collection. Control. If you've gotten to chapter eleven, you've learned it. Is John, that, you that, might know this. Is that light sensitive? Nope. Oh wait, wait. What? Keeping it cold. Keeping it cold. Yeah. Keeping it chill. Yeah. Okay, you gotta chill. Ice. Wait, wait. Another song. Ice, ice, ice baby. <laughs> I know what's funny is this class actually knows that song. I know. Woo! We're gonna win it. You guys knew the song. I aged myself out a lot. Yeah, I don't think we're too far away from. No, no, you guys, we got you by a couple of years. Yeah. But this is definitely, although you might win as the youngest of the class. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Yes. Were you born in the 90s? Yes. Yes. She is the babies in the class. Yeah. When? 99. Good God, I feel old. <laughs> wow. Anybody else feel old now? <laughs> All right. Hold on. Hold on. These are getting too. Ooh, prothrombin time. PT. 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 Prothrombin time. PT. Prothrombin time. What about yeah. you? Yes. That's my yeah. final answer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's your final answer? Pro thrombin time. Wah, wah, wah. Yay. Good job, Ronnie. Put down. I see you. What? <laughs> I thought she said anything timed is eh. no. You thought about it. You thought Coag, it. pro thrombin time. Coag remember, thrombin. remember, um, thrombin. thrombin, it's got clotted. Yeah, and time. time. You use thrombin to make fibrin. Um, remember, I don't know if you all were in the online tube session, but I kind of went through the whole like you have two arms of the coagulation cascade. So your PT and your PTT each check one side and the common pathway. So just remember that. Okay, that one's too easy. Oh, all right. Um, I'm running. Hey, can I have your pile? I'm not that creative. I'm like, and I don't want to do those because those are just like meh. Thank you. I like whoever does it. Oh, this is a good one. Right on top. D A T. D A T. D A T. Direct antiglobulin test, also known as a Coombs test. Of course, only old school, like really old school people call it a Coombs. Call it Coombs like reagent, like Coombs control. But like only the old, remember the old doctors when they used to be able to write their manual forms, they'd write like Coombs and the yes. young the youngins wouldn't know what they were ordering. Direct, well, I'm sorry. Direct antiglobulin testing. Oh. Coons? <laughs> or also known as Coombs test or DAT. My feet hurt today. We did an immunology day for my CLS sophomores because we haven't really been able to do their immunology labs. So we literally did every lab in one day. Wow. I'm tired. <laughs> they did great though. And we have one student, the poor student has appendicitis. Oh. And had to go have surgery. I was like, oh. In the middle of clinicals. Whoa. All right. Ron, I got your answer. Chemistry, what do you got over there? Veronica, what do you got over there? I can't see your choice, Dan. Okay, I'm like, I can't read that far. So you're okay. So the only one who got it right, Ron online. It's a blood bank test. Mm -hmm. 
because we'll do DATs to look for drug-induced hemolytic anemia or hemolytic disease of the newborn on cord bloods. Okay. Blood bank or immunohematology. Ooh, alcohol level. Alcohol. Alcohol. Hopefully nobody drew my level right <laughs> after Saturday night, my celebration. Uh, our president elect. Oh, I was like, <laughs> I was like <laughs> someone who likes science that's now going to lead my country. I'm <laughs> super excited about science. Is cool. You see the team he selected for is. Uh huh. Yeah. I did. <laughs> it's exciting. <clears throat> Actually, you know what? What I'm most excited about is that um, our uh, Betsy is out so we can actually have like an educator <laughs> in charge of education can you tell the two things i feel passionately about oh look science and education so yes i was very excited my husband however was not so that's super fun in my house I was just say that, like, the, that must be it's a little it's a little early. it's yeah, a little tense like yeah all right with my kids like they're like hippie and they start arguing and oh yeah like, hey i don't care you know what, what your opinion is i respect yours but you got to respect mine too you know because part of mine is like so when i this is where i get difficult because i teach immunology i feel very strongly about vaccinations but i have to let you as a student get there on your own i can't put mine on top of you i can't later you know, I can I can tell you everything I think later, but you've got to get to what you think first. That, that's an ethical educator. All right. So what did I just give you? Oh, yeah. Alcohol. What department does it go to? But I can't see. It. Yeah. You got, I can't read them flat like that. Okay. An alcohol level. Is it an antibody, Veronica? No. What is it? Uh, alcohol level. <laughs> <laughs> so, is it a cell? Um, is it a cell? No. Is it an infectious disease? No. Is it an antibody? Okay. Is it a coagulation test? So, if it's not any of those, where does it go? Chemistry. Chemistry. You see how we're going through like this process of elimination? Mm -hmm. The more you do that, the easier it's going to be to be able to remember these tests. Ooh, a D-dimer. D dimer. This is a tough one. D dimer. Cheryl, before you do my finger stick, I'm going to need to get another drink. D dimer. What's that? I'm sorry. I'm tired today, but I was telling Veronica I couldn't figure it out. And then I realized I only got one cup of coffee today. I drank three to four. I drink a lot of coffee. What happened? I had I I made it too hot on the way to lab and then I can't drink yes. in lab and then I just never drank the rest of it. What is what, what is the dimer? I mean, if you give me this answer, it's probably I can't give it to you yet. Well, I don't want to know the department. Um, no, I can't tell you what it is because then it'll give it away. Oh, okay, all right. I figure that. So take a guess first, an educated guess. Anything, you two on the end, take any guess. It's okay, all right. What do you got? Okay, so a D-dimer is a specific fibrin degradation product. So if it is an FDP, what department does it go to? Coag, correct. I knew I was gonna get you on that one. Ooh, how about CMV? CMV. I had a coworker who bought that. She thought she had Lyme disease again. Really? Interesting. Usually, well, you know what? The older we get, but usually people get CMV and they don't know they have it. Interesting. You guys ever hear? You ever gonna hear of the? I'll tell you in a second. Yeah. I'm not gonna tell you yet because then you're gonna be you're gonna know I've never the answer. Heard of anybody getting it? So do you know, you guys have just heard the story of the, the boy in the bubble, you touch your head again. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you heard about the boy in the bubble who was essentially, so he was born with skid, severe combined immune deficiency, where it's, a, it's an, an immunodeficiency where they have no immune system. So he was, they knew he was going to have it because they had a child previously that had it and died. 
So they planned ahead, they tested, they saw that he had it. So he was born into a bubble and stayed there until he was 12 when bone marrow transplants became a thing and they got a little better at it. So he, they ended up having a sibling. They literally had a baby to save a baby and they gave him the bone marrow from his sister who ended up having CMV and they didn't know it and he died of systemic CMV which is cytomegalovirus. And it is a low-grade virus. Most of it, 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 you know, it's in the herpes virus family, same as Epstein-Barr virus, um, herpes, HTLV-1, things like that. Um, but they didn't know because she never set, showed signs that she was sick. Most kids who get it, you don't even know. They don't even look like they have a cold. So the poor boy, if you ever want to watch, and if not, don't watch the Jake Gyllenhaal or John Travolta bubble boy, like actually watch the documentation, yeah. um, the documentary, I think it's like PBS, um, but it's, it's a, it's a really good documentary uh, about that um, disorder. <laughs> What's that? Oh yeah. So what, what department does that go to? Sorry. That was. I took my original guess was chemistry, but then who named it, so I have to know what he would call it. Cytomegalovirus. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Virus. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. So remember when we asked the question, mm -hmm. is it an infectious disease or right. a cell? Like, like yeah. Biology? So the infectious disease testing is considered immunology serology. Oh, immunology. Yeah. So that's what I got. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're going to do one more and then we'll jump into capillary puncture, okay? So uh, Billy Rubin, total. T Billy. Easy. T B easy. T, yeah, did you see? T, <laughs> <laughs> T Billy. Total Billy Rubin. It is a waste product that's usually processed by your liver. It's normal for us to have a small amount in our blood, but usually we break it down to eliminate. Babies that are born I just are, are very yellow. That's why yeah. uh, Cheryl had to draw Celia um, when she was born. Um, she was born three, I was induced three weeks early because I, I, I don't do well being pregnant. Um, labor's easy, pregnancy not so much. So she was three weeks early, really tiny. She was like five pounds, 10 ounces when she was born. She was five pounds when I brought her home. Three days later, I had to bring her back and she had to get admitted because her bilirubin was so high, they were concerned about brain damage. Um, she doesn't have brain damage, by the way. Oh, well, I don't think so. <laughs> um, but um, so we did have to draw it. So Cheryl had to come up and she offered me to let it because she knows what a control freak I am. And I was like, no. And that's crazy because you'd think like being such a control freak and teaching and doing it myself, although I wasn't teaching then. Um, I just, I couldn't. I believe my answer was like, hell no, I can't do that. <laughs> but I just, I couldn't do my own kid. Um, so what department does that go to? Yes, chemistry. So she had to go under the little Billy lamp. So she looked like she was going tanning. Um, her Billy ribbon was so high, they wouldn't even put a diaper on her. She got the shades and was in that little incubator, buck naked, peeing wherever she wanted to. It was super gross. But what do you have to do special for that test? Yeah, good. So light. So Billy Rubin, like, so they say, like, if kids are starting to look a little yellow, they always say, like, if you've got a sunny spot in your, in your living room, put your kid in that little sunny spot for a little while, because the light will break down the Billy Rubin to the point where if we've drawn our samples, like say we're drawing your blood, right? When we do chemistry in the spring and we have phlebotomy, we usually save the samples so we can use them in, in chemistry lab. <clears throat> There's no bilirubin left by the time we get it. And that's like next day, it's all gone. Cause we normal bilirubin's like 0 0.8 to 1.2 or something like that, you know, depending on where you're at. Um, so we really find that with people like vitamin D deficiency. What? Like some people I know like have like a vitamin D deficiency oh, and so like the oh the, yeah so so that's that's different so okay. sunlight will break down bilirubin mm -hmm. you actually so 
vitamin D is, is miss is a misnomer because it's not actually a vitamin. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's, so you actually get it from sunlight Mm -hmm. or fortified like green leafy veggies and things like that, or fortified foods. Um, and it processes through the skin and your kidneys. Um, so if you're not doing that appropriately, especially what time of year, like, honestly, I think a lot of us were not vitamin D deficient this year, mainly because a lot of us spent a lot of time. We were stuck at home. We were outside. But when it comes to winter, we tend to not spend as much time. And when your primary source of vitamin D is the sunlight, you have to actually get your vitamin D. And there's been a lot of studies of vitamin D levels with increased, uh, if you have too low, um, increased bone fractures um, or increased myocardial infarction, things like that. So yeah, that was that was a fun game. All right, so I'm gonna take a drink of water, clean my hands, and then we're gonna give you a demo on capillary puncture, up close and personal. Um, if you guys want to keep this set of cards at your station, that's your new station. I'm sorry. I okay. just kicked you out. Ooh, when you know you've been here a while and everything's dark. Ooh, pretty sunset out there. It's a beautiful day. Yeah. yeah it was the past couple of days. Like, it was really nice. <laughs> I don't know. I spent it inside. Wow. <laughs> All right. Yes, I didn't lock the unlock the bottoms. Yeah, so then once we do the capillary puncture, you two can go and then it'll be you turn you, you two, your turn to draw. And then next week we'll do capillary and uh, blood draw. And then we should be able to week two. Uh, not yet. Oh. After we do the capillary. Yeah. Do you have a sharpie marker I can borrow? Anybody? I don't have. I have highlighter. Um, Definitely invest in one, like the fine tip. Yeah, I, mean, I have some at home. I just didn't bring it with me. I have a one. They write nice on the Yeah, okay. you're labeling yeah. All right, you're going to have to roll down a bit because Shell is going to demonstrate right here. Mm-hmm. Are you doing? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Where I didn't like this because so obviously I didn't. I didn't put it up yet. Yeah, So I was confused on the like the passcode. I thought the passcode was. Um, I'm not sure if you saw my response. I put in free analytical, and I was like, and then. Uh, oh, and then you realized there was an actual lecture code. Yeah. Why? I, I, okay. All right. So, all right, guys. So I don't have to repeat myself. Yeah. All lectures will now have a lecture code in them, and the reason I have done that is because less less of your class, um, but people weren't watching the lectures. I can't teach you and do what I need to do effectively if you're not watching the lectures. So in each lecture, I will say a code. And that code, you will have to enter in to that quiz designed. Or if you're John and you're in that, you have to email me the code. Um, So you have to listen for it in the lecture because I need you to actually listen to the lecture. I do not sit in front of my computer recording lectures for giggle. But it's not that fun. When I heard the lecture, I didn't hear the code. How, like, where is the code? Uh, no, she says, here is your, I, 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 I tell you, she, here she is it, your lecture code. I heard the code, but then when, I was like confused about the two, I was like, is it, because on the, like the board, it says pre-analytical code, pre-analytical, like, on what I'll, I'll show you, I'll show you on my laptop. On what board? On our class board, on the blackboard. I'll show you later after class. On blackboard, it tells yeah. you the code. No, no, no. It says like pre-analytical, like course code, pre-analytical. 
I'll show you. Right. So then you click on that and you have to actually type it in. I didn't get it. Yeah, and I thought the code was pre analytical. No, the code is the lecture code that's in there. Yeah, no. You have to, the code is in the lecture. You have to but listen watched, to the I lecture. Didn't, I didn't get the number. Then you I have didn't. to listen to it to get it. I can't just give you it because I need to make sure everybody is listening to the lecture. So what if I don't get it at all? Like, what, what should I do? If I listen to it, I don't no, get it's, it. But it's, I promise you, it's yeah. in the lecture. It's, it's yeah. in the other, the other like a week yeah. when I came. Like, yes, it's also the, in the closed caption. For the, like, uh, uh, you put that like on the front. I couldn't get it. And I still I cannot get it right now. I don't know what to do. It's a video. And so in the middle of the video, she has the, the path. It's also in the closed captions. And there's only one I don't video. Find it, to be honest. I well, you have to it. listen. It is in there. You have to listen to it. I won't be giving it to you. You have to listen and pay attention I don't want to it. it. But, like, <laughs> if, I don't, I, I, if I don't get it, I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, what should I do? I keep listening, listening. I don't get it. it it's, do? it's in there and it's in the closed caption. So look for it. She I, don't know she what it it's, I, I say yeah. this is your lecture test code. And then I give, you I know, say the say code out the loud. You say it in the middle? No, 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 I say it in the middle somewhere. Yeah. It could be in random spots. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that you listen so, to the video. Like I so need she's to, not going to put it at the beginning because if she puts it at the beginning, then you won't watch the yeah. rest of the video. I, I want to make you listen. Um, there's a section where it's um, like practice, practice run, or I'm not sure exactly what what it says. All right. So after we do this, we can we okay. can so go like, through the right now for this one. Like we, I couldn't get the code, and I couldn't get the. the Just quiz. watch it. Watch it again, and you will find that. So do I have a time close. to still do it? Closed caption is what the word you have the words at the bottom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so the, yeah, so say. CC now remind I can't edit everything. So some of the words it doesn't always understand, yeah. but the lecture code is right. I mean, like it's still that is time to do that. You have to put it in, yes. And it will give me the quiz, like I will take a quiz. The quiz is in the course. In the course. Everything right. is in like so when I post the link to the lecture, the quiz is right underneath it. You gotta go through it and you have to listen it to it. It won't be late. But, like it won't be late. Well, yeah, it's late because you haven't done it yet. <laughs> I mean, like, I don't know. If, until the end of this course, if I don't get it, I don't know what to do with this course, to be honest. You'll get I, it. You're, you're going go to go course, in and you're going to listen to the lecture and you're going to look at the closed caption. The codes are all in there. When I enter the code, it will, uh, like, and then when I submit it, what happened next? It goes to grade. Like, there is a quiz will pop up or because I don't know what's the process. That's the thing. In the weekly folder where I have posted, I just said this, where I posted the link for the lecture, the link for the quiz is right underneath it and it's labeled like pre-analytical test code or whatever I called it. It's right under the link in the weekly folder. Yeah, just click on to week one and you'll find it. I mean week two, sorry. All right, but we've got we got to do the capillary puncture here because we do have everybody online here as well. So I want to make sure that everybody gets to to hear Aww, the capillary Teresa puncture. Like teddy bear. I know, she's a little teddy bear in there. And then I have another problem. That's actually done. Like, <laughs> All right, uh, well we got to do we got to yeah. do capillary puncture. Okay, yeah, we got to. Because you told but, me like on Monday we'll discuss. Right, but Delia, that's not yeah. discussing it with everybody. Yeah. We have to focus on yeah, the yeah, class yeah. time. You and I can do things separately. Okay. okay? Yeah. All right. Not enough slides for everybody. No, that's okay. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna show everybody. Let's move, move this out of the way so everybody can see. Okay. So, when you're doing a capillary puncture, um, Cheryl and I do things very differently. Um, the same steps. You have to identify yourself. You have to, you know, say, you know, who you are and your student. Is it okay if I do, you know, do this? Go through the whole spiel a lot of the times you're doing this on a baby they're not going to be talking to you they'll probably be crying and kicking you um so typically you're going to reserve i can't do this very easily <laughs> so you're going to reserve these two fingers for it um dominant not typically non-dominant hand but this works much better i always end up giving my right hand it doesn't bother well i hate capillary punctures i would rather do this over and over again i already did this once this week for my students so sure. so yeah i hate capillary punctures but so does cheryl and i bleed well so um so i i'm not flipping anybody off right now i prefer the middle finger okay because i find can i have your finger 
I find, so I always, I always tell my patients, I'm like, just give me the finger just to, you know, that's a joke, but I like it because I'm comfortable holding it this way. So you hold it. So you have a little bit of this finger sticking out and you squeeze and squeeze. Cheryl likes the ring finger. And this is where I love it. it. I have a hard time getting it to go up on its own. Um, so obviously you go through the whole thing, identify me, all that jazz. So now it's Cheryl's turn. So you obviously have to clean it. Now you have to let it dry. This is really key because um, if you don't, number one, it's gonna like, the biggest thing is you can actually contaminate the sample because that is liquid into such a minute volume that you wanna let it dry. It's also gonna sting and it could potentially hemolyze, but the biggest thing is it can contaminate the specimen. So once it's dry, um, Cheryl's gonna prep. Now remember you're kind of going, you're not going on the side, okay? Cause that's, you'll just hit bone, that hurts. I had a student yeah. do that once and I did no. not stop bleeding. No, the entire I class, did. like the entire, like before we could she even say like, don't, he had already clicked it and we're like, oh! And oh. the entire class filled their capillary tubes from my finger bleeding. So it's not so, so it was, fine. so it's the side of the fleshy part of the finger. So Cheryl will show you. Now these are all different. So we have different types of lancets. So Cheryl has one where she just pulled that out. Mm. There's another one that kind of looks like this. No, I'm showing them. Oh. Um, kind of looks like this, where you're going to pull this end out. All of them have a little button on the top. Mm -hmm. The key is when you're going to use this, you're gonna put it, so most of them, if you see like this, it's got like a, it's got a long um, direction. So you wanna make sure that whichever that lancet is, that you are not, you're doing it per, um, perpendicular, mm. not parallel. Cause if you do parallel to the fingerprint world, it'll tear along the fingerprint mm. and then the blood will follow the fingerprint. So you're gonna put firm pressure. Sorry, I gotta get my fingers out of the way. Ugh. And then firm pressure. Now this one, the whole thing. Yeah, this yeah. one, there's no button on the top. It's just a, mm. and then you're gonna squeeze it and you're gonna wipe away the first drop. And, get you. and then she's squeezing and you use capillary action to fill this one. So this one has a capillary tube attached to it. Um, we weren't expecting but we work. these were brand new when we first opened up eHealth here that Cheryl and I had never seen these. We mm -hmm. only had the ones with the scoop. You just want to touch the drop of blood. No scooping or scraping. And see how she's squeezing and letting my finger go? You have to keep circulation going. Okay, that's key. I also, if you want to look at this in depth again, I have a YouTube channel and there is a capillary puncture video of Cheryl doing exactly this. But notice she's tapping it down. She's tapping it down to get it into um, the additive because this is um, this is a uh, EDTA. So we need to be able to get that blood into the additive before it clots. And yes, this takes a long time. And yes, this is harder to do than a vein of puncture. Yes. I have a couple of questions. Yep. Um, so tapping the tube. It gets like the that. blood out of the capillary tube so it doesn't clot up there. But it doesn't risk breaking the tube? No, it's plastic. Okay. Mm -hmm. And my other question is tapping it like that, would it cause like little splatters, like minute splatters that nope. we probably won't see? Okay. And it gets messy. You can see she's got a little tiny drop. And she's also doing it on this side so everybody can see it. It's harder to do on either side, no matter what. So the hand should all be facing No, I'm going to, oh yeah, all right, let me, all right. So let me, she's going to, so normally I want to show you how to do a, a slide. This big fat drop. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Now you want to get it. Here we go. So put a nice drop, slide, mm -hmm. and then you pull into it and push out. Oh, hey, that's not bad for one-handed. Nice. And if you want to fill her, all right. This top comes off. So you 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 don't have to try and pull. The, whoops, sorry. You don't have to try and pull the capillary out. It just kind of twists off. Can you hand the sharps container for me, please? So that will go in the sharps container. 
And then notice she puts the cover back on and she mixes it right away. And these here, you can't just like, so you know how like you are mixing the tubes like this? This one you have to make sure like, so as she's doing it, you can see occasionally she pauses because it doesn't all flip because it's so small. It doesn't actually get that good um, flow. So this here, can you tap it down just to see what the level is? So this here would probably be good for one reticulocyte count, mm -hmm. probably would not get a full dip out of, maybe, um, but typically we need this um, full. Mm -hmm. So full would oh, be wow. to here. here. So she did it to the, the first line. So that'll get one retic count only. Mm -hmm. That's typically what we're doing on newborns. Um, and then the second level um, would be the full tube. So when we get a retic and a diff out of it. Um, for the, the bilirubin, you could get one bilirubin out of a half a tube, maybe. But remember, newborns have higher crits than adults. So there's going to be more red cells than serum in your sample. So you have so halfway doesn't necessarily give us enough volume to work with. Um, so then your slide, it's a little crooked because I did it one-handed, but you make a slide for a nice feathered edge. I'll show you two. I don't know if you can, eh, not sure if you can see that. Nope, that didn't help. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe like that. There, you can see the feathered edge. That's as good as I can get. Um, so this one, so um, We'll do this um, for you guys next week when you all come in. So like the first thing, whoever the first two here, you'll do capillary punctures on each other, then move on on there. Then you guys will come in. So because there's two of us, it's easier to kind of divvy it up. Um, CLS, you guys will do that. Um, probably not till, well, you might not do it at all. Maybe we'll get, we'll make you do it in hematology to make your own slides. Um, because I don't think everybody, nobody's gotten back to me yet if the CLS students want to take the phlebotomy course next semester or not. Um, so I'm not sure if they're running it, unfortunately. Um, but we'll try and sneak it into um, another class or I'm still waiting to see if I get permission to let you guys come in here. Um, and then John, you should, oh, Caitlin wants to take it too. So um, yeah, so CLS guys, if you haven't let me know, it, um, if you haven't told me you want to take it, please tell me you want to take it. So I can see if we can at least try and get it on the schedule. Um, they didn't run the fall section that usually leads up into that class. So what is it kind of left the CLS students out high and dry. What is a CLS? So CLS is clinical laboratory science. Oh, okay. So you may be interested in it. Who knows when you finally do your lab rotation? We get a lot of returning phlebotomy students coming back. So you never know. Yeah, that's right, you. All right, so um, that, so guys, we're gonna go into the last draw. You guys have been on here for a while now, so you don't have to stay any longer. We're gonna just do the same thing again um, at the draw and I'm gonna start packing things up. But if you like this, I'll, I'll, you know, it's fun to have a little extra questions and interaction online too. Um, I can try and do this when I can, when we have enough people on Mondays. We always meet, we start trickling a libel at three o'clock. Um, so if you, I'll send out a Zoom, if you guys can join and watch these guys do their thing, that'll be great since we can't have you, the rest of you guys in here too. So, but I'm trying to get permission so you guys can come in too. So then we can have one big phlebotomy workshop and you guys can kind of be like the pros. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'll keep this for next week so everybody can at least look at the slide. This we can get rid of. All right. So, all right. So I'm going to say goodbye to you guys online and maybe see you next week. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. And.